Hi, I'm Jun, and I'm going to talk about the introduction to GitOps to uh, Kubernetes. Uh, it's such an honor to speak in the very beginning of the writing talk, and I'm really excited, but I'm at the same time, I'm really nervous, so please ease on me. Uh, this is about me. I'm Jun Sakata, and I'm on the internet with the ID Sakajun Quality. Uh, I'm a member of Google Developers Expert in Cloud Technology, and I work at uh, UB Inc. in Japan uh, as a software engineer. I like Kubernetes and Vue. And let me talk about uh, my company. UB is a medical startup in Japan. The service is help doctors to uh, diagnose patients. And our product, uh, our service pr product is running everything on Kubernetes it's in GCP. And this is today, uh, this is what I'm going to talk about today. And I will have a brief introduction to the GitOps. And next, I'm going to talk about the very prototype that we, that we are using in the production. And also, I'm talking about the future perspective about that pipeline. And the comp my company is using GCP across the services, so I'm using the GCP as a, I'm using a GCP service logo in the slide, but I think and I believe that any cloud or on-premise environment should be applied to. And I'm going to first talk about the concept of GitOps. And GitOps is, I think, the idea that introduced by the Webworks with this article, GitOps Operations by pull request. And I don't have time to talk about the whole story about that, but so I'm really talking in simple. And GitHub has basics, and two, uh, GitHub has, uh, GitOps has two different types of Git repository, and which is application repo and config repo. And application repo is responsible for application itself, and config repo includes a declarative manifesto for the configuration of Kubernetes. And all the manifest is managed declaratively in Git, and any apply to the cloud should apply to the Kubernetes should be through CI. In other words, the Git, ops, uh, Git repo for the config should state the current state of the infrastructure and any other apply to the cluster is prohibited, like manual apply to the cluster. So we did create a very simple and very prototype of GitOps app in our production. And in our service, we have several services like front end and several microservices for back end. And we are using Google Google Wireless Engine for our service. And we just migrated last month from Heroc. This is my kind of philosophy that workflow uh, in uh, pipeline workflow should be simple enough and each component should be decoupled. I'm talking about this later. And also new application should be integrated very easily. And this is the steps I use in our company. There's an application repository and when I create a release tag in application repository, and automatical CI creates a Docker image and push to repository. And in config repository, there is a pull request to apply, uh, change the uh, application image. And when apply uh, merge, uh, when merge that pull request to the, to the master, and all that the same CI works and that apply to Kubernetes. When I created this pipeline, I was it was very manual. So the pipeline above and below is separated. So we make mistakes to change configuration and it's really difficult to change for non-Kubernetes engineers. So I created, make it automatically and with a message queue and GitOps app create a pull request and notify to the Slack easily. So this is the example I created in example app. When the build is finished, there is a notification and at the same time that creates a 
least pull request that changes the images in the Kubernetes configuration. And when I roll, uh, to have to roll back, it's reverted. Uh, sorry, I don't have time. <laughs> and, okay. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> 